Hey everybody, welcome to the Getting Started Guide with Breezy Organization on Digital Planning. So I'm going to walk you through the process of actually purchasing your products and how you're going to import them and use them in the GoodNotes app. There are different apps and devices that you can use for our planners and our stickers. We recommend you download the free planner that's on our site, breezyorganization.com, uh, to try on other apps and other devices before purchasing any of our products to make sure it's exactly what you want it to be. Um, for this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use it using Apple products and how you download and how you're going to install and use these products. So we, you can buy from us from two different options as of this point right now. You can go to breezyorganization.com or you can go to Etsy and look for Breezy Organization Shop. And we have lots of reviews on our Etsy page for you to kind of get it a uh, idea of what kind of products and what people are saying about those. Um, so if you're on our site, there's a few things that you can know. If you click on more, there is a freebie vault section. That's where you're going to find your freebie planner, um, Amazon favorites and contact us. And then our tutorial page, um, has a bunch of our YouTube, our first YouTube videos to kind of show you the beginning stages of digital planning. I need to update a few of these videos. We have tons of videos over on our YouTube channel that has plan with me's and tons of tips and tricks, um, for you to literally spend, um, hours and learning how to use digital planning. And then if you click on the shop, it's going to bring up a bar. We have life planners, digital planners, special planners, stickers, floral customizable, ma masculine customizable, iPhone planners, and PDF printables. Um, life planner is our biggest, best planner. It's where you can use widgets and there's spots for widgets. And widgets, we have teacher widgets, travel widgets, photography planning widgets, um, just picture planning, the schooling, tons and tons of widgets where you can change what your daily, weekly, and monthly, what you actually use and plan. And I can get more into that, lots of our other videos, and I may get into it a little bit in this video. That's underneath our life planner, and it's this collection here if you click that. Our digital planners are going to be any of our regular planners, travel planner, Christmas planner, finance planner, any standalone planners. And then our specialty planners are, we only have two, and it's our Pinterest planner and our home planner. These are a lot of fun and they are different as in they do not look like they're a book form, uh, but they work kind of like the digital planners. The Pinterest planner is one of my all time favorite planners. We also have recipe planners, lots of different things. And then of course we have our stickers that's underneath this section. We have some sticker books, we have some individual sticker pages, and then we have some individual stickers that we offer. The masculine customizable and the floral customizable planners are standalone planners that are blank and you can use inserts to actually make the planner what you want it to be. We recommend this if you are super, super detailed on wanting just what you want on every single page and you're willing to spend the time to name all of your tabs and to make it what you want it to be. There's going to be a little bit more time in just setting it up than our other out of the box type planners. Okay, and then our iPhone planners are just made, that means they are proportioned for the iPhone. It does not mean that they sync across other planners. None of the planners will sync across different planners. Now, you can have the same exact planner file on all of your devices, Mac, iPad, and phone. As long as you are logged onto the same iCloud account, they will all seamlessly sync but it's not going to sync across the bigger version for your iPad and then automatically sync to an iPhone version. It's just not set up that way, but the same exact planner will. So when you view it on the iPhone, you'll be able to view everything, but it just may not fill up proportionally on your iPhone. So the iPhone planners are more or less for somebody that just wants to keep up with simple things in a planner type form and just use it on their iPhone. It's mainly what the iPhone planners are for. And you use widgets with those too. They actually come with blank pages and they're kind of the same concept as our customizable planners. Okay, so let's get into this today. Let's pick out a couple products that we wanna buy and how you're actually going to start using them. So let's go ahead and click on our life planner. And say we are going to buy this 2021 and 2022 dated daily life planner. You'll have to look on all of our pictures because we do offer undated and dated. We offer portrait and landscape and different themes. Um, all of them come with Sunday and Monday start, so you don't have to look at those. When you buy this one, it'll come with both. But we do have some dated and some undated. I try to put that in most of the images in the description and even in the title. Uh, but sometimes that is a big mishap. People will buy undated when they meant to buy dated. So be sure to look for that because we don't offer refunds or exchanges. 
Okay, so it shows you several pictures of what it looks like and then you can just simply add to cart if this is something that you want. And then we go back to shop and let's pick out a few widgets that go with the planner. And I'm gonna show you how those work. Right here is a little info banner that shows you kind of how you're going to use the widgets and the planners. And then of course we've got our first video here. We have lots more following this one of all of our themes of all of our different planners. This is a great one to start with. Uh, so it just shows you the all-in-one planner here. We have daily, weekly, and monthly, and we have some that are just weekly. You just have to read the description or the titles to figure out what yours comes with that you're looking at. Number two, you can buy all the widgets that you want to make it the planner that you want it to be without a lot of hassle. And number three, you can use it and change up your daily, weekly, and monthly style of planner planning with using widgets. So let's go ahead and pick out a couple of widgets that we want to use. Let's go ahead and do this... Um, what do we want to do? Let's go ahead and do this memory pack widget. So we're going to click on this and we're going to add it to cart. And then we're going to go back and shop and we're going to pick up some stickers. Now for our stickers, let's go ahead and use this girl's day. And it shows you briefly what it looks like, or you can go into it for more details. And let's hit add to cart. Okay, so now you're going to view cart. And you're going to go check out these items here. And then I'm going to show you how you can easily download these and use these in your GoodNotes application. Okay, so after you hit the place order button, you're gonna be on this screen here. It says, thank you for your orders. You'll receive email confirmation with your download goodies soon. So whenever you receive that email, you will receive links to your products or your downloads will show up down here. You can see my memory pack widgets that I added to the cart, my girls day stickers and my planner. Now the deal with this is these links do expire. It's just a part of this internet system there's nothing i can do about that so your links will expire so we recommend you download everything and save it to your files um, so to do that you're just going to simply hit the download button and hit download again and you'll see the bar here going across showing you whenever it's downloaded once that's downloaded go ahead and click your next one hit download and it's already downloaded it just you can always click up here to see what's downloaded and then go ahead and click your next one and hit download and you can see the blue bar going across and then now it's downloaded. So you can go to your files app and click on downloads or you can click on one of these downloads from your little download icon arrow up here. So just click on one of these and it's going to take you to your downloads folder. Now you'll notice that these files are zipped. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on each one of these and it's going to unzip a copy. Now you can either save your zipped ones make a file that's digital planning, you know, saved files and either put those zipped ones. So they're smaller files, smaller sizes in there, and then use these to import and then delete these. Or you can delete your zip folders files and keep these blue ones. So it's totally up to you. I would probably recommend just keeping the zip files and just a separate file. So like I would, I would just make a folder. I would call it digital saves or digital planning whatever backup whatever and then i would just drag and drop those and just save them so you've always got the originals if anything ever happens to anything so you've got that um, now these are the ones that are open and ready to use so i purposely downloaded three different types of files these are the different ways that we use we have good notes files and pdfs so if you download any of our planners we have pdfs available for people that's using other apps beside good notes and then we have good notes specific files so if you are using good notes there's no need for you to worry about any of the pdf files you're just going to want to use the good notes files um, so to use these, if you're using GoodNotes, you'll notice the icon of the GoodNotes. And the differences in these files is you need to click to look at the titles. This one says Sunday Start, and if you look at this GoodNotes file, it says Monday. So pick which start you want and then open it. So you're going to click on Sunday Start. You'll notice it won't come up with anything here. So in the top right-hand corner, you're going to hit the arrow out button, and then you're going to hit GoodNotes. It's going to bring up GoodNotes, and then you're going to put Import as New Document. Hit Import. And that's how you import your planner. So this is a portrait planner. So you'd actually turn your 
um, iPad this way to use it. And then to use any of the links, the main thing you need to know in GoodNotes is to hit this pin icon up here. When that toolbar goes away, all of your links will work. All of your tabs will work. Whenever you click on the little pin again, it's going to drop down a toolbar and that's where you add text, images, highlighters, all the things, but none, but none of your links are going to work. Your links only work whenever that toolbar is gone. That's the main thing to remember using GoodNotes. Now, as we go back to our files, we're going to click done and then we're going to import some of our other things. So we have this girl stay sticker. So we're going to click on it. It comes with the PNGs that are individual stickers. So you're going to use this if you're using an app other than GoodNotes. But if you're using GoodNotes, they're already pre-cropped and ready to go in this one file. We're going to click on that, hit the arrow out again, and then click on GoodNotes. You're going to import its new document, import as new, and your girl's day sticker is going to be there. If you ever exit out of these, you can always find all of your stickers by hitting arrow back and it's going to keep track of all of your files here. So if you click on it, you have all of your stickers. To use the stickers, you're going to hit that pin to bring down your toolbar, hit the lasso, circle any item you want, tap in the middle, and hit copy. You're going to go over to your planner, make sure you're on the lasso, hold down, and hit paste. And then you can easily resize with the blue, blue handle here. That's how you use stickers in GoodNotes and how you import your stickers into GoodNotes. Now, last we have some stickers and our widgets are not in a GoodNotes file. So you're gonna import them a little bit differently. And that's what I'm gonna show you here with the memory pack. We do offer a few stickers like this. So if you don't get a GoodNotes file, don't get too scared. There's definitely easy ways that you can use them. So after you've unzipped this file, these are all just individual PNG stickers and they're totally ready to use right away. You can use these stickers two different ways. You can scroll up and you can hold down your GoodNotes application and drag it to either side of the screen to do split screen. You can move this little gray bar here over to make one side smaller and, and the other side bigger. I like to have my individual sticker smaller and my planner bigger. I'm gonna click over on this tab to go to my planner and I want to add some of my widgets. So I'm gonna click on a week here, scroll down. These are my spots for my widget here. There's all different planners that use them different ways in our life planners, but in the, this particular one in the weekly spread, you use them down here. So how you can use any individual PNG stickers or our widgets, you're gonna do the split screen if you click it like this and then you try to drag, it won't work. The only way you can use it is if you can see multiple files at one time. You're going to hold down with your finger and simply drag over and it's going to add it onto your page. Then you can simply resize it, click it in your thing, and you can add your images right on top and you're ready to go. And you can click on a good image. Let's click on this image here. It's going to import this image. And then all you have to do is zoom in and put it here on the sticker. I go into more detail on how you can use these sticker widgets or how you can use these widgets and stuff in the release videos, but this is just a quick demonstration. So you're going to use your little picture there and then you can, it needs to be a little bigger. You can import your picture right on the top here and right, and then you have this cute little memory widget right here. Again, we have widgets for all different types of things. This is just one of our memory widgets. We have a lot of productivity widgets though. So that's how you're gonna use split screen. Say you're not comfortable with split screen and you wanna use a different way, that's fine. Just get rid of that. And then you're gonna hit your image icon. Now you're gonna hit insert from because it's not in your image to your photos. And then what you're going to do is it's going to open you up here and you're going to go to downloads or wherever you've saved the file. You're going to hit memory pack two because that's what we're looking for now. And then you're going to click on save this Polaroid and it imported this little picture or you can click on it again and it'll save where you were just at and you can click on another one and you can drag that one down here. So that's how you use individual stickers and widgets in your planners. Now, if you want, if there are widgets and stickers that you use all the time, you can add them to the elements feature within GoodNotes. To do this, you simply hit the lasso tool, circle it, hit inside, and hit add element. You can choose a spot that you want to add them. So I have widgets. I would click on this and then say I wanted to delete it. If I ever wanted to use it again, you'll click, click on the star icon up here. And then you're gonna click on your widgets icon here. That's your widgets category. And then I'm gonna scroll down until I can find the one that I deleted, which is this one here. Click on it and it's already gonna be perfectly sized for me to put right into that space. 
That's how you use elements within GoodNotes. So two ways to use them to import them, and that's either clicking the image icon, clicking insert from, and finding them in your files download, or you can use a split screen and drag and drop. That's the same for PNG stickers and for widget files. We hope this really gives you a good explanation on how to get started with dig digital planning. We can't wait to see what you do. If you're on Facebook or Instagram, be sure to tag us. We want to see what you've come up with. Okay, so we went over everything that you need to know if you've downloaded digital planners from breezyorganization.com. I want to show you the steps to doing the same thing with using Etsy. So first, what you're going to do is go to Etsy.com, and then you're going to type in Breezy Organization. And then it says, did you mean the shop Breezy Organization? I like clicking on that so you can kind of see what our whole shop has to offer here. So you're going to find a couple of things that you want to download, and then I'm going to show you how to use these. They're going to be pretty much the same process that I showed you with breezyorganization.com, um, but there are a couple that's going to be a little bit bigger, and they have to. I have to use a third party to upload the whole file because Etsy has a limit on the file size that you can upload. If you go to breezyorganization.com, you don't have to worry about any third-party apps. You download directly from the site. Uh, but using this, you will have to download from another site. So one of the packs that's a little bit larger is our seasonal sticker pack. So I'm going to type in seasonal and it's this one here. Let's click on this and then we're going to add to cart and then we're going to proceed to checkout. Okay. It says, thanks for your order. We've sent a receipt to your email address. View your digital files now or use the link in your receipt. So um, in order to view your files, you're going to click right here. If you ever lose your email, can't find the links, you can always find all of your downloads by clicking on your account tab up here and then going to your purchases and reviews. I'll show you that here in just a moment. You're going to hit view your files now. now. So we have purchased the product. We're going to hit this link here. Um, this is if... Sometimes you may notice that the actual like PNG stickers or whatever doesn't say that right here. And it says link. This means that the product, it doesn't happen very often, but sometimes the product is too big for Etsy to handle. You don't come across this on breezyorganization.com. It'll be downloaded directly from the site. But Etsy makes me use a third-party site if it's over a very big file size at all. So this says it's your link. You're going to hit download. It's just going to bring up the page. It's going to explain why there's a link. And you're going to click on this link to download. It's going to take you to the Dropbox site. Um, sometimes I've had customers say that it tells you, you have to subscribe to Dropbox. You have to pay an annual fee to open the file. None of that is true. I'm not really for sure how they're getting to that page. I don't know if it's just an ad or whatever it is. You can sign up for a free Dropbox account, which is an email and a password, and that's totally fine. Don't ever pay for anything on Dropbox. There is no need to pay for anything on Dropbox to be able to download these files. They may make you create an account, which again is just an email and a password, um, but you should never ever have to pay any money to Dropbox to use any of our files. This is a thank you form and then your seasonal um, sticker pack. So this is a .goodnotes file, or if it's a large file, it's not going to be viewable right here. It's going to say .goodnotes files cannot be previewed because this is not a GoodNotes app. We are just wanting to download the file. So then we're going to hit download, direct download, or save to my Dropbox. I want to do a direct download. So I'm going to hit that and then hit download again. And then you'll notice my little download icon showed up up here and it's showing you the progress of the download. Okay, so once it gets downloaded, you hit the download folder and you're gonna click on the pack. A lot of people click on this arrow and it takes them to, and you go to GoodNotes, but it will not work. This is still a zipped file. So even though it comes up with this, pa this page here, don't hit any of these, hit done. And you're going to want to go to the file. So see how I did that? Either go to the files app or hit this magnifying glass and it's going to take you to the file instead of opening the file in front of you. You're going to see the, the file right here and it's good notes. You're going to click on it. Now it doesn't say zipped. Now you hit the arrow out button. Now you can hit good notes and import as new document and it's going to work the same way as all of our previous things. So that's how you use PNG stickers or widgets importing your um, files into GoodNotes, how to use GoodNotes basics, and how to get started with digital planning. 
We hope that you enjoyed this. We can't wait to see what you do. Be sure to join us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Um, we do try to put out a lot of content for you guys to know how to use our planners and how much fun digital planning can be. If you have any questions, be sure to email us on Etsy or breezyorganization.com. Those are the two that I get on to do the most. And be sure to share your products, anything that you use with our products on any of the platforms that you can share and tag us. Be sure to do that. We would love to see what you do. Thanks so much for watching. And if you have any questions, let us know.